G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to subtract fractions from one another fairly instantly. It's going to cut out all this messing around of trying to find common denominators and things like this. And we're just going to directly subtract one fraction from another with different denominators. So let's just launch into this. Let's start out with an example here. We'll go four fifths. And from this, we're going to subtract uh, three quarters. Okay, now let's just put our answer over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work out this denominator, this number on the bottom. And we're going to do this by multiplying here. Five times four is equal to 20. I just multiply those guys. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start in the upper left here on this first fraction, and we're going to multiply it by the bottom number, by the denominator on the second fraction. So we're going from top left to bottom right, and we're going to multiply these. Four times four is equal to 16. We've got the same symbol, which is subtraction, and now we'll go over to the other part. Uh, this is this three here, and it's gonna be multiplied by this five here. Okay, so three times five is equal to 15. So you can see that bit of a pattern that we just used there. All right, what have we got? 16 take away 15 is equal to one, and this goes over 20. There's our answer. No working at common denominators saves a whole bunch of work, right? What about we go through another example? Okay, for the next one, let's get seven eighths. And from this, we're going to take away three fifths. All right, just watch out when you use this in math class. It'll put the wind up your teacher a little bit. They get, ah, uh, well, here's all the working out. But you know, you won't need to do all the working out, right? So let's just get our answer. Not mess around by working at common denominators. Okay, so first off, let's multiply these two denominators. Eight times five is equal to 40. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start in the top left here and we're going to multiply by the bottom right. Seven times five is 35. We're going to subtract. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go eight times three. Three eighths are 24. What do we got here? So let's see. 35 take away 24 is equal to 11. Uh, 11 over 40. There's our answer. Now look, if you want to go through this, you can actually see what we're doing is we are finding common denominators and things like this, but we're skipping a bit of a step by working it all out individually, that sort of deal. We're just doing it in one fell swoop. So it's just a more efficient way of doing it. Okay, another example, then I'll get you doing it for you. What about we do five ninths, and we're going to subtract from that two over seven. All right, usually a bit annoying to try and find common denominators here, but for us, easy. <laughs> 9 times 7 is 63. We're going to now go 5 times 7. 7 fives are 35. The subtraction stays the same. And 2 times 9 is 18. What do we have now? Okay, 35 take away 18 is 17. And this is going to go over 63. There is no common denominator. We're not reducing that any. So what about I give you a couple of examples. And I'm going to give you ones that are a bit harder. Okay, let's go four fifths, and from this, we're going to subtract two thirds. The second one I'm going to get you doing, uh, let's go six over 11, and from this, we're going to subtract one third. Hey, awesome, I reckon you can do these really quickly. I'm not gonna worry about the colors here, we don't need those anymore, I reckon we can do without it. Okay, five times three is equal to 15. Let's see if we can do this directly. 12 take away 10 is equal to 2. All right, just skip the little step there, right? Pretty clever, eh? Let's go on this one. Uh, 11 times 3 is 33. We're going to go 18, subtract 11, which is 7. All right, pretty cool, right? Uh, how'd you go with that? Did you get the right answers? If you like this video, please hit the like button and make a comment down below, okay? Uh, and... If you want more tips and tricks on how to do fractions, if you look in the description below in this video, you're going to see there is a playlist. That playlist takes you to all sorts of fraction-y type videos. Fractions here, fractions there, and you'll be up to your eyeballs in fractions. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.